Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is we're going to be unboxing a Paradise Galleries baby. As a new collector, I haven't had a Paradise Galleries baby and I wanted to try them out and see what I thought. And this baby caught my eye. I'm not going to say who it is until we actually take them out of the box. But as you know, I have a couple of Ashton Drake babies and I have one actual reborn. And like I said, I just, I wanted to try out Paradise Galleries. I'm a new collector, like I said, and I just wanted to see what I thought of them. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and get to unboxing. So I turned the box around so we wouldn't see my address or anything, but we're going to go ahead and just, we're going to go ahead and, oh, I might have to, I'm, I think I'm gonna have to get something to take off the tape. So just give me a second. All right, actually, I think we got it. I should have probably undid the outer box. All right, there we go. I probably should have undone the outer box um, because sometimes, and it's good because, you know, that means that it's packaged up really nice, but sometimes it can be a little hard to open. Now, I did get a couple of other things, which I will show you, and I'll kind of explain why. I'll show you what they are, but um, I will show you that. But anyway, let's go ahead and take out the, whoops, let's go ahead and take out the baby. I'm going to go ahead and move the, the box aside for just a minute. This says Paradise Galleries, Dolls, and Smiles. So here is what the box is going to look like, okay? So we're going to go ahead and take this baby out of here. And it looks like it is packaged um, pretty similar to Ashton Drake. It comes with a collector's box with a little paper over the with a little paper over the um, over the baby. Um, now it looks like her face isn't wrapped up. So when we take the paper off, we're going to actually reveal who she is. So here is what she looks like. This is Baby May from Paradise Galleries, and she is in here uh, it looks like she is tied in here um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and untie her looks like her little legs are tied this baby caught my eye and so I decided to get her I thought she was super cute I mean there there's a lot of really cute ones there but she really caught my eye there we go. Looks like we had a little bit of a knot, but I think we got her. And it looks like her, she's also tied in by the, by the neck. So we're going to go ahead and undo her and then we'll take her out. All right. So she's, she's got some tissue paper around her neck. Okay. And I think we got a little, uh, what do they got in here? It looks like we got some... We got an accessory. I wonder if this is her uh, part of her thing that goes in her hair. I'm not sure. We'll have to open that up and see what that is. But let's go ahead and take her out of here. Oh yeah, I think that accessory is her little headband. But oh, her other leg is tied in here. We're going to have to undo that. All right. Ah. Oh my goodness. Can we get her out now? Nope. Just, just, there we go. All right, there we go. So she does have some paperwork that she came with and we're gonna just, I'm gonna go ahead and set that aside right there. But yeah, this little accessory is what goes into, um, that's her little headband. And so we'll take that out in just a minute. But before we actually get a little closer look at the baby, let's go ahead and take a look at her paperwork. It says the Certificate of on, uh, Authentication, Paradise Galleries. Okay. Um, this is Baby May. Now she is a sculpt by Ping Lao. I love Ping Lao babies. I love, love, love Ping Lao babies. So here is what she looks like. And there's her picture. And then it says Ping Lao. And it says uh, Baby May is the work of Ping Lao. Okay. And so there's the, the signature right there, okay? And then on the back, it looks like it tells a little bit about the, the babies. Um, the print is a little small. I'm gonna have to get my glasses so I can see that, but yeah. So that is the little certificate of authentication and then the back of the envelope doesn't have anything on it, but we'll put that back in here. And I'm keeping all of my, 
baby information in one place. I have a lot of information for my Cabbage Patch Kids, for my little cabbages, and I've also got one for Ellie Pooh, who is actually little Peanut off of Ashton Drake, and um, as well as um, baby Zoe, who is little Sweetheart from Ashton Drake. So I try to keep all that stuff in one place, um, just because, you know, that way I know where it's at. But let's go ahead and look at baby May, okay? And it looks like she is weighted. Um, we got some tissue paper on here. We're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and take the little tissue paper off of her, her little feet and stuff. She's got it all over her limbs, okay? So let's go ahead and just put her on the bed while I undo her. But let me just show you her head. She has painted hair. Nope, she has painted hair, okay? And she has she has a little bit of weighting like in her body. Um, she's pretty stuffed. Um, she's not as heavy as um, Ellie, um, but she does feel pretty nice. So we're gonna go ahead and just sit her on the bed, and I'm gonna I'm gonna undo her tissue paper, and then we'll put her little headband on her, and we'll see what that looks like. But let's go ahead and just I'm gonna take it off. Okay. I think she comes in the cutest outfit. And as you can see, she is a little, she's an Asian baby, which I love because I've always wanted a little Asian baby. When we were looking to adopt, um, we, we knew we wanted to do international. And when we were looking for places, um, we had first looked at China, but we didn't meet the criteria that they had at the time. But I just always thought it would be neat to have adopted a little girl from China. So... We went to Bulgaria instead, and it worked out. Um, but this baby is a Asian baby, which um, which is really cool. Okay, so there's her little legs free. Let's go ahead and do her arms. It looks like she has three quarter limbs, I think, but no armatures, which is a good thing. Um, I want to look at her little toes. I think she might have tipped toenails. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah, she's got, she's got, uh, she's definitely got tipped nails. Oops, she's got tipped nails. Okay. But let's go ahead and get this tissue paper off of her, and we'll look at her hands. Look at her up close, up close and personal. Oops. Okay. So, her limbs are pretty floppy. Her limbs are pretty floppy. And we'll take a look at her cloth body in just a minute. Okay. Right. So, there is the tissue paper off. which has got a little bit more around her neck. So I'm going to lift her up and we're going to take off the tissue paper around her neck. I thought I got it all, but it looks like we have, still have some. Alright, there we go. Now she's a little bit floppier in the head. So I'm gonna go get rid of this tissue paper and we'll take a closer look at her. So let's take a little bit of a closer look at her and I will go get the, the boppy as well and we'll put her on there. But, and I'm just picking her up so I can take a look, but um, we'll, we'll bring her closer to the camera. So um, here is what her little face looks like. There's her little face. Oh, I love her. She's so cute. But yeah, this baby caught my eye. Um, she has, looks like she has rooted eyelashes. And there's her little eyebrows, okay? And her mouth, she might be able to fit a modified pacifier. It's slightly open, okay? So her, here's one little hand. There's what that looks like. And then she does have tipped nails. Hopefully the camera will focus. She does have tipping on her nails. And then here is her other little hand, okay? So she has open hands, okay, there we go. She does have open hands. And then here are her little feet, okay? There's one little foot. And she does have some slight wrinkles on the bottom of her feet, okay? And then here is her other little foot, pretty much the same. Some tipping on the toenails. And, oh, her cloth body feels really good. Let's just pull up her, her top just a little bit. Her cloth body, body feels really good. It's very soft, okay? 
and let's see if she came with a diaper. I'm sure she did. Uh, actually, she did not come with a diaper. We're going to have to get this girl a diaper. <laughs> I'm surprised that they didn't put a diaper on her. And uh, and here comes Alex. He, have to, he has to smell the babies. He cracks me up. Every time I bring out the babies, he, he has to come over and smell. <laughs> but we will change her out of this outfit. But here is how she came. Whoops. There we go. Here is how she came. Let's go ahead and put it down a little bit. But here is how she came. And I'm going to go ahead and grab the boppy. We'll put her on there and we'll take a little look. Might be able to get her a little bit closer to the camera. I think that'll be nice and she'll lay a little bit more naturally. So there's, and I think for her name, I think we're going to go ahead and just keep it as um, Baby May because it just, it seems to suit her. So we're going to keep it as Baby May. Okay. So let's go ahead and just put her on the bobby. There we go. And I would say that she is definitely newborn size. I think she will wear newborn size clothes from what I have gathered. But uh, she doesn't come with any socks or anything like that. Now let me go ahead and show you what else I have. Oh, let's, let's go ahead and put on her little headband. Um, we can go ahead and open that up and we'll see how she looks with her little headband on. That's how they show her in the picture. Okay, so we need to keep all of our baby stuff together, but let's go ahead and open up the little bag. Okay, and I don't want, okay, that's going to have to get thrown out. That's one of those little silicone packets that has to go. All right, so... It's a little hair bow, okay? That's a little hair bow. And let's go ahead and just put this on over her head. Okay, so I think it's supposed to go, whoop, it's over her eyes. I think it's supposed to go on her head like that. So there's what she looks like with her little headband on and with the little bow. I think that's really, really super cute. But I think this baby is really, really, really adorable. But let's go ahead and see what we have in the box. Uh, we have a couple of other things in the box. And now that I know she does not come with a diaper, I'm glad that I'm glad that I picked out um, a couple of different things. So I'm just gonna reach inside the box and just pull out what is left in here rather than putting the box on the bed because there's, there's just a couple more a couple more items here. Sorry for the crinkling. There's just a couple more items in here. So um, I did pick up, it's a, it's a magic bottle set and I picked this up in mind for my Cabbage Patch Kids really. Because um, I figured like if I were to ever um, put them on Instagram and stuff. I thought this might be cute to photograph them with, but there's one for milk, one for juice. We'll just go ahead and take one out of the, the package, but it says, um, this is Paradise Galleries Magic Bottles. But I think uh, like Babyland that, that has the Cabbage Patch Kids, I think they have something pretty similar to this. But these ones are Paradise Galleries brand. So let's go ahead and just take out the, we'll just take out one of them here, if I can get it to if I can get it to open. All right. Put my nail underneath there. There we go. Peel up some of the paper. Okay. I'm not going to open it all the way. We'll just take out one bottle. If we can. Eh, I might have to open up the whole thing, but we'll keep it. Okay. So this is one of those like magic bottles. Like when you, when you tip it upside down, the liquid kind of goes like that it looks like it's going to disappear it's not super realistic or anything like that i mean it's a you know it's 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 an actual it's more of a toy um but i decided to get one of these for the especially for the cabbage patch kids i thought this would look really cute um photographed with them but i think it might fit in her it might fit in, well not really but you can pretend <laughs> um but i know uh 
actual bottles, like a lot of people will have actual bottles and pretend to feed the, the babies, and, and I haven't figured that out, like how to seal up the nipple or anything to, and like where you actually put the, the milk or whatever in it, but um, yeah. So that is that. I got that mainly for the Cabbage Patch Kids. I also got a set of uh, baby diapers. It says a uh, it says reborn doll diapers and it says uh, um, fits most 18 to 22 inch dolls. Okay. So it velcros closed and it's a box of um, how many is in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think there's like 10 diapers in here. So I don't know how good these are. I've not tried any of the diapers, but I think since she did not come with a diaper, let's go ahead and put a diaper on her um, because I think she would just look better that way. So we'll go ahead and put a diaper on her. Let's see. So we're gonna go ahead and just, we'll go ahead and slip down her pants. And we'll put a little diaper on her because she doesn't have one. Now they're just regular, regular white diapers. They don't have any kind of prints on them. I want to get, um, you guys tell me if you like more of the cloth diapers on your babies or if you like to get the, um, now she doesn't have any girly bits or anything, so we should be okay because her body is totally cloth. But um, you guys tell me if you like the, um, like cloth diapers for your babies or if you get stuff like Honest Brand, which has the cute little prints and stuff, you know. So let's go ahead and lift up her legs. We'll put her little bottom on there. Yeah, I'm really surprised that they did not put a diaper on this, this little girl here. I'm really, really surprised that they didn't put a diaper on this girl. So I'm hoping it will fit her. It said it should. So let's go ahead and do her up. So we'll just we'll go ahead and put a, a diaper on her. And I think that'll fit really good. That seems to fit really good. So I think it's better to have a diaper on the baby. <laughs> we'll make sure that her tag didn't get down in there. So there is her diaper. We got a diaper on her. So I think um, I think we'll be using those diapers, which is really nice. So I'll make another video where we do a changing. We'll do her first changing with her. Um, because obviously I have, whoops, get her little footsie in there. Obviously I do have clothes for newborn sizes. Whoop. Um, and then I will do, I'll also do another video where, um, I kind of do a comparison between the babies that I do have, because I do have, like I said, a couple of Ashton Drakes, and I have this girl now. Oh, falling off the boppy. Oh my goodness, what kind of a mommy am I? <laughs> Um, you know, actually, I think we got her on here. I always want to put her on here wrong, but there we go. I always want to put her on there wrong. Okay, so there's this little girl. And we'll do a first changing video with her. And her, her bow came off. Um, I think we'll just leave the bow off of her and we'll put that with the, with the other baby stuff. But anyway, um, that is baby May. Uh all diapered and ready to go <laughs> and we'll do a we'll, we'll do another changing video with her but all right so there she is um I think she's super cute I really like her so yeah um you guys tell me what you think and uh leave us a comment if you have not done so already subscribe to the channel ring the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos are uploaded um hit the like button give it a thumbs up you all have a great day, and we'll talk to you in the next video. All right, bye, everybody.